Hey guys, Jack here from Half Room. Today we're gonna to talk about the DJI Mini 2 and how well it actually performs outside in the wind. Now, it has an estimated flight time of 31 minutes and that is under optimum conditions. Now, uh, when I was flying it, it was definitely not optimum conditions. So we're gonna see how that factors into the flight time. Plus, I made a mistake, almost a critical error, and that almost cost me this drone. Uh, stay tuned, I think that also had something to do with the flight time. So if you're interested in this, uh, we're gonna fly it around, we're gonna do some quick shots, we're gonna do some hovering, we're gonna do some antics, uh, but ultimately we're gonna see how well these new batteries perform with this Mini 2. Is it 31 minutes? Stay tuned. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Okay, so we got the mini up in the air. I'm gonna speed this video up. Uh, we're looking at it in four times speed. Um, in the lower left hand corner, you see I got a stopwatch. You see I have a clock kind of in the middle there, uh, lower right side. In the upper right hand corner, I've got my screen recording. So you can kind of keep a track on where the battery is and how much flight time is left. Uh, so if you're curious, that's, that's what we got going on here. And then of course, we got me and the drone on the big screen. Also uh, show you some video coming from the drone uh, while we do some of these quick shots. So, you know, the Mini 2, is it an improvement over the original Mavic Mini? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, there's a lot of really nice things about this drone. If you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm just kind of looking through the menu. Um, that is something I suggest you do. You definitely want to, you know, get familiar with the menu. It is very much uh, the same. Um, I shouldn't say the same. It's very similar to the original Mavic Mini. Uh, I'm playing with the, the front headlight there. Look at that. You can change the color. Kind of neat. Uh, but you definitely want to run through the menus, um, all the tabs at the top, some of the hidden menus. And we'll actually make a video that kind of walks you through that. So if you're looking for that, that will be coming out in the next couple of days. Anyway, so we've got this drone up in the air, um, flying around, uh, fighting this wind. You can see the trees are kind of moving. It actually kind of comes and goes in gusts. Um, sometimes they just kind of really uh, gets moving, and sometimes it, it's fairly still. So we're doing some, uh, some quick shots here. This is a droney. Um, <laughs> that's the droney mode. Uh, we'll also walk through the different quick shots. We'll take a look at the droney here. Going through some of the other quick shots as well. Uh, another one that I really like is the rocket, where it kind of just goes straight up. The droning and the rocket are two really good ones, uh, simple. Uh, the other ones where it's kind of going in a circle, the helix, uh, you're going to definitely boomerang um, those modes. Uh, you're going to definitely want to make sure that, um, you know, there aren't any trees and you're you've got plenty of space. Now it doesn't have active track, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, but one thing that they did add is panoramic photos. That's what uh, you can see the camera just snapping a bunch of pictures. That's what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm testing out the different panoramic modes, uh, which are really pretty cool. You got the the wide, you've got the 180. And then you've got the, uh, the 360, which is uh, that one's really neat. Um, but you also have to let it uh, stitch those images together on your phone. Um, other things that you got with this, uh, auto uh, AE, AEB um, bracketing. It doesn't, for whatever reason, stitch them together for you. It'll just take those three uh, pictures at different exposures, which is, you know, cool. Uh, but then you got to put it together yourself. Um, just kind of looking at some of the different settings here. You can see what's overexposed. It's obviously the sky. Um, but yeah, this drone, it's fun. It's definitely faster uh, than the original Mini. Um, and you can see I'm really moving here. Uh, but I was flying with the wind. <laughs> and uh, this, I'm about to figure out what I did wrong. As I turn around and I start to come home, it's just, it's not cooperating. And I'm like, what, what's going on? Um, what, what am I doing? And then uh, I'm like, wait, oh yes, I have it in, <laughs> I have it in cinematic mode, uh, scene smooth, which is slow. So it kind of limits the pitch. And I wasn't able to bring it back against the wind. Uh, because it was in that mode. So just switching it to, um, you know, sport or normal uh, certainly will do the trick. Um, so I was, you know, I had a brief uh, little heart palpitation, but that really, really was working hard. And it uh, it chewed up some um, some of that uh, battery juice, you can see. Um, 
you know, getting, you know, we're more than halfway, uh, you know, it's going to be hard pressed to get to that 31 minutes. And you know what? 31 minutes is in optimum conditions at like a slow cruise. Um, yeah. When do you do that? When do you fly 31 minutes straight um, at a slow cruise? That just doesn't happen. Um, you know, plus weather and all those other things take, uh, you got to take that into effect. All right, so now uh, I've done what I need to do with the drone, flown it a bit. I'm going to get a little workout in while we're waiting for this thing to kind of finish up, like, you know, crank out some push-ups. Getting old. Got to gotta get my workouts in when I can, even uh, even when we're flying. So, you know, see what the dog is up to. Get him out here. Let him, you know, shoot, you know play with the basketball. He's, he's schooling me here. He's got the, He's destroying me. That's Gus. But anyway, if you're looking for a good drone, something that's fun to fly, easy, small, portable, love this thing. 4K camera, solid. Um, it's just really nice. It's definitely an improvement over the Mavic Mini, right? We've got a this versus the original Mini comparison. We've also got one versus the Mavic Air 2. So if you're not sure which one you want, you may want to uh, take a look at that. The Mavic Air 2 is definitely just a more capable drone. So, you know, we're a little over 21 minutes and... Uh, you know, I'm getting some low battery warning, so, you know, we're not going much further. You know, that's, you know, uh, we're at like 66% of the battery uh, capacity. So we're just going to get it close, uh, close to home, move around a little bit, um, kind of see that gimbal work. It does a great job. It's just, it is really a nice drone. Um, Critically you know, low money, battery. Best drone you can get under $500. I, you know, I flown the Xeno, I've, I've flown the Hubsons, um, they just do not compare. Compared to Nafi is probably the closest, although that one's more like $600. It's a um, we're, you know, we're also going to do a best drone under $500. Uh, we got a couple of those in the mail on, on the way uh, to us, so you can take a look at those. Um, but yeah, the Mavic Mini, I'm sorry, the Mini 2, solid drone. You know, it just, it really is nice if you're looking for something you know, to take with you hiking, to take with you camping, um, to take, you know, family pictures, um, you know, in, in neat locations. This is a, definitely an option. The uh, Fly More package is probably what you want uh, because you're going to get two a additional batteries and Critically a low battery. Uh, bag and those and a multi charger, which is nice, right? So, um, you know, definitely think about the, the uh, Fly More package. Although it adds another $150. So you only got $600 when it's all said and done. That is expensive, right? It's it's not a cheap drone. Um, we're getting that low landing warning. Um, it looks like our time is up. Critically low battery. So the drone is going to land here. We got 1% left by the time it's all said and done. Um, we're going to call it. Critically. Minutes, just over 23 minutes. Hey, hope you like that. If you haven't already, check us out on halfchrome.com. We have everything from photography and FPV. Now, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If not, hey, let us know what we did wrong uh, in the comments down below, and we'll do better next time. Anyway, good luck and happy flying.